results from Sunday Shatsu. I'm going to demonstrate to you some amazing meridian exercises originating from Japan. They call them makahos. They're really good to do first thing in the morning when you get up to stretch your body and all your meridians. They come in six pairs and they go with the Chinese medicine clock starting with the lungs and ending with the gallbladder. So the first stretch is going to be the lungs and the large intestine. For this we place our thumbs on top of each other like this and then behind the backs and then in this position we turn towards with our head towards our feet and slowly vertebra by vertebra go down and let the gravity pull you down while your hands are high in the air and hold this posture for around one minute close your eyes and feel the stretch in the back of your legs your lower legs your upper legs and also in your shoulder blades Slowly go a bit further, but know your limits. And then after one minute, slowly come up vertebra by vertebra. And let your arms pull you up. Then you turn your palms out. And close your eyes and hold still. This is like the counter pose. Whichever thumb was up before, swap thumbs. Place them on your back, do the same thing, and pull your head down. And your arms high in the air. And draw them backwards. Feel the pull on the shoulder blades. Feel the pull in the back of your legs. Really nice stretch to start the day. The lungs, five o'clock, when the monks get up and sing their first sutras. Feel that stretch. Push out a little bit more within your limit. A healthy balance. And then let your hands pull you up and feel vertebra by vertebra straightening the spine and straight again. And then the counter pose, the palms forward. Take a deep breath in and out. Sink into the counter posture. Then as we start the day, we're going into 7 o'clock till 9 o'clock, which is the time for spleen and stomach, the digestion, when we have our first meals. So for this, we're going to go down on our knees. And make sure you have a bolster behind your back if you have back problems and place them on top of your feet and below your back so so place your buttocks on the floor and slowly go down and with this one especially it's really the most important to know your limits if you've got low flexibility keep your elbows on the floor like this for the brave people that want to go a bit further, you can go all the way down, slowly but surely. And feel your shoulders on the floor. And then you can even stretch your arms all the way out. And with this makaho, the spleen in the stomach, you will feel it around the upper legs mostly. That's where the spleen meridian goes. 
really good for digestion before your first meal of the day, before your breakfast. And stay in this posture for around a minute as well. Deep breath in and out and stretch a bit further. Go all the way out. Just slowly come up. Place your hands on your lower legs and slowly move yourself up. Be very careful with your spine. And then we go into the counter pose, which is very important for your lower back and people with sensitive lower backs. So we go into child's pose. Half a minute for this one. the earth this is the element of the earth the first element the lungs and the large intestine was the metal and now we're going into the earth so we get grounded we feel strong through our nutrition for the third macro hole go into a butterfly position, place our feet against each other and grab our big toes and we start off making this flying wing exercise so we just flatten a bit you really feel that in your hip you really feel that loosening your hips pelvic floor. Do this for around 10 to 20 seconds. And then stretch out in front of you. So make sure your back is always straight. Don't go, go further than you can hold your back straight. So it, it's really important to just stretch as far as your body allows you to stretch. Otherwise you do more harm than good. One minute again. Have your time or just counting your head or just approximate the time. You do that for your own benefit. You're only accountable for your own health. Then we're going into water time, kidney and bladder. We stretch our legs forward and we make ourselves with our hands we pretend we're a waterfall the water's going down down and down and then we grab with our hands our ankles or our feet but make sure our knees are on the floor so it's important to just stretch as far as you can so you feel the stretch below your knees dinner time make sure by this time of the day you're well hydrated because after the water time you should not uh, take too many fluids in Going to our last Makaho Meridian stretch, and we go cross legged 
and make sure the leg that's in front connects with the arm that's in front and we cross as well our arms so right at the front right arm at the front and then we cross them and go forward and stretch both hands out in the opposite direction like this hold one minute this is the triple heater and pericardian meridian Pericardium is the space around the heart that protects the heart, also called the heart protector. And the triple heater connects all three layers of the torso. The lower jaw, the middle jaw and the upper jaw with each other. So it's all about fluid metabolism and a strong immune system. Then we cross our legs the other way and as well cross our arms the other way and stretch fully out. So this is between 7 and 11 o'clock in the Chinese medicine clock. After a minute has passed, we are in the stretch and going to the gallbladder and liver meridian, which is between 11 o'clock and 3 o'clock. So there's two different ways we can do this. We can stretch our legs out and feel the stretch in the groin and lean forward and again with a straight back, go as far as you can so very flexible people can put their hands on the, on the floor the second variation is to hold our big toes so this is the wood element Third element is that we stretch our opposite arm to the feet out. And we cross it the other way. Thank you for watching. This exercise takes around 10 minutes a day, but it'll do wonders to your health. It really stretches you open and gets you ready for the day. My name is Gerald from Sander Shiatsu in Melbourne, and I'm wishing you, you a great day. Thank you so much.